your boy boss and welcome back to the channel today we is at one of my local fish stores i love coming to check out different fish stores to see what these guys got and today i'm gonna give you guys a little walkthrough of this fish store this store actually been in business for probably about 90 plus years um they're old school fish store you can see they have a lot of undergravel filters it's just an old school fish store so we're gonna go through take a look at some of the tanks and see what they got going on uh, so we'll start over here at this tank look like they have some nice rosy bar from here and some bose money rainbows and they got some really good prices on them as well these bose money look really good beautiful In this tank, like they got a nice little bed of fish and some Congo Tetris. And like a bunch of common plecos in there as well. This tank, look like we got some Colombian Tetris. These guys are very underrated uh, fish in the hobby. Really beautiful fish. They get a nice size on them. And they do really good in like schools or a release of like 12 of them at least. It's a cool little fish. So they keep a lot of variety, a lot of nano, a lot of small tetras, different things like that. This tank we got some, look like some gold or some honey garamis. And there's some like some silver tip tetras in there as well. Which look really good actually. I think they call it a three spot tetra actually. This tank we got some look like some Bolivian rams and some killie fish. That's a nice little killie fish right there. Been wanting to do a tank of some of the Bolivian ram. I think they're pretty cool ram. They don't get like a lot of the colors like the German blue rams get, but still a nice ram and they look really good in like a black water tank now here I got a tank full of some mixed guppies some fancy guppies can't go wrong they do sell um, some exotic and bigger fish as well on the other side we'll get to those here in just a second over here, let me got some black neon tetras. These guys are nice. And some flag fish. These are really good fish for like eating algae. Um, just a really cool fish. And they get a lot of color. They're underrated fish as well. But as you can see, they got the under gravel filters, the deep substrates. Like that is how you keep an aquarium long lasting. They doing it right. I ain't even gonna lie. Here like we got some diamond tetras and like some white cloud minnows. Really nice. Let's see what else they got. Got some nice cherry barbs down here. Very cool little fish. If you want some nice color in your tank and some red cherry barbs are a go-to fish. I've had bred these in the past too. They're really easy to breed. Um, and they definitely will raise their babies up together. And it looks like there is some gold tetras in there as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This tank got some survey tetras and some bala sharks. Nice. And we got some more tetras up here. And some type of like, I think that's like a white skirt tetra. Really good, healthy fish. Now here, I love these. These are some gold dust mollies or panda mollies. Uh, I think they are some of the coolest little mollies. Real sought after. A classic in the hobby. You can't go wrong with them. I had to get some of those. <laughs> well, we got some glow light tetras in here. A little better in the back too. Cool little 
better. Up here we got some Brunus Airs Tetras. These guys are mean and nasty. They're probably like one of the most feistiest little Tetras next to like the Bucktooth Tetra, the Exodon. I really mean. Cool little fish though. If you want like an aggressive Tetra, get you some Brunus Airs. They're pretty cool. See what else they got going on. More tanks of Mollies. Look like there's some type of Pearl Daniels in there. Some Betta fish. Got some Ember Tetras up here. A nice little Nano Tetra. If you're looking for like a nice small fish for like a 10 gallon that don't get too big. The Ember Tetras are a nice fish to have. And when they get that nice golden color on them, they look really good. These guys are kind of washed out but I've seen some that are really golden and beautiful we got some green fire tetras I never heard of these before green fire tetras they kind of look like a neon tetra in a way probably different variants of that and look at it they got better fish in every tank and heaters Oh, they got some nice Cabenzies in here. Ooh, look, that's a nice female right here showing some color. Nice Cabenzies. Really cool dwarf cichlid. If you're looking for a cichlid that can give you some color, a little personality, and you want to breed them, uh, Cabenzies are go to for sure. And they're not that expensive. I think they go for like six bucks a piece. Um, Pretty easy fish to work with. Over here we got some bluff and tetras and some rosy tetras. Nice. A lot of tetras in here, I tell you that. They got some platies up here. Some nice platies. They're looking okay. Oh, they even got an axolotl in here. That's nice. You want like 50 bucks for them. I need to get one of those for the fish room one day. I think they're just a really cool little species. Uh, we got some more tetras. Look like there is some white mollies in here as well. Some Siamese flying foxes. Uh, just a nice little variety of fish. Nice. They even have some silver dollars up here. Can't go wrong with the silver dollars. Can't go wrong with the silver dollars. Let's see what else they got. Some more Serpe Tetras. Some Brilliant Rasbors. I think they are underrated fish as well. They get nice and big. Really nice and big. Oh, they got some pill stream loaches. Nice. And for 10 bucks, too, that's a good price on those. I see those guys going for like $12, $13 most times. And there's some little hatchet fish in there as well. Got a tank of some small angels, five bucks a piece. Can't beat that. That's a really good price on those. Nice. Oh, they have these little cool sword tails down here. I don't know what type of sword tail that is. Um, but that's some really cool sword tail. You guys know I love sword tail. I see one missing a little fan, but that male back here looks really good. Oh, wow. They even have a little, they got baby Fajaka puppers in here. That's crazy. These little baby Fajaka puppers. I want one now. How much they going for? $12.99? That's a good price on a little baby for Hocker Puffers. I've seen them at that size, like $15, $16. So $12.99 is a good price on those. Cool, cool. So that's kind of what this side of the store looks like. Um, they do have frozen food here as well. All your different types of frozen 
Um, they do have an other side over here. They got like salt water and more of, I guess, semi-aggressive fish. They even sell plants as well. They got some nice plants in here. Wisteria, some Kambamba, some Money Ward, Myro, Amazon Swords, nice. This store is actually where I had got my red tail catfish from. Um, he was over here in this tank about two years ago. This is where I got him at. Oh, they got some nice gold settlers in here too. And it's a good price for that size. These guys are pretty, pretty decent size. They got some nice plants. Yeah, these guys look good. Nice. They do sell saltwater rock. They're a little low on stock right now on that. Um, and then they have this side over here where the, all the top tanks up here are all saltwater. And then the rest of the tanks are freshwater as well. Uh, we'll look at some of the freshwater tanks and we'll show you guys the salt. Got some tiger barbs in here. Can't go wrong with some tiger barbs. Staple in the hobby. Oh, they got gold rams. Wow. Nice. Really nice. Ain't that good price? Seven dollars. Oh, they got a baby red tail catfish back there. Nice. But these gold rams look good. If you're local to the area, you're looking for some gold rams, this is where you need to come because they have them. They definitely do. Over here, they got some Texas cichlids. Nice. I love a good Texas cichlid. Mean and nasty, though. But it's a cool little fish. They even have some assorted Oscar, some nice little Oscar. Look like he got a little bit of, a little bit of ink on him. That might be why he by himself. But they definitely got some Oscars in here. Dang, look at these! Wait till I show y'all these other fish. They got some African cichlids in here. Nice little sorters. Some Johannes. Look like some red zebras. Some yellow lads. With some nice assorted. Can't go wrong. They got them for $8.99. But down here, look at this. Are these piranhas? No, these are silver dollars. Look how big those silver dollars are. They're massive. Jesus. Somebody need to come buy them. Up here, they got some pakus. I love pakus. If they didn't get as big as they did and they stayed like this size, I would definitely do pakus, but I think they're a really cool looking fish. I like that red on them, they fins. They just get too big, and they shouldn't be sold in pet stores, but you know you can't stop stores from doing it. Um, but they still are a pretty cool fish. Over here, oh, they got a tank of some medium sized angels, about 16 bucks a piece. Can't go wrong. Some nice gold angels, some black angels. This guy right here looks good. I like him. That stripes on being like a silver angel. Nice little sorted. This tank got some more African cichlids. I think they got these guys going for like 20 bucks a piece. Some nice Africans. A few peacocks in there that look good. Some nice little OB in there that looks pretty good as well. And the rest of them are just like Mabunas or more washed out. Like this guy, look like he could be a nice stunner one day. They keep a decent selection of fish. I'm not even going to lie. They do. They got goldfish in here. Can't go wrong with goldfish. <laughs> and they got some green tiger bars. I really like these. I want to do a tank of these one day. I like the green tiger bars. I like tiger bars, period. I think they're a cool fish. And if you got enough of them in the tank, it's really active. Oh, they got some exodons in here. Nice. Nice exodons. The buck two tetras. Mean and nasty. They're like little baby piranhas. These guys are kind of small. They don't look the greatest, but they just need to put on some size, really. But they got some. $10.99, that's a decent price. I've seen them cheaper than that, around like seven bucks. Um, 
out. So they are a little pricey on these, but they're kind of hard to come by. You don't see them every day. Now here we got some gold. No, these are some dwarf gouramis. Some powder blues or like maybe like, I don't know what the other type are, but they look good though. But them powder blue gouramis are beautiful. I've had those in the past as well. Really cool, really cool. Got some more nice goldfish in here. <laughs> That's that one fish that like big eyes, but a nice looking fish. Off of Bad Boys. Reference right there. They got some rainbow sharks. Nice fish. Got some kissing gouramis. The little things definitely be kissing. <laughs> Good kissing gouramis, though. Um, they have some flame paradise gouramis. These are nice. Flame paradise gouramis. That's nice. They got to take up some nice little small South Americans. Got some fire mouths convicts, like some Jack Dempsey's, um, just your common South American cichlids that you just hate and love at the same time. But they got some giant Daniels in here. Can't go wrong with giant Daniels. And they got a red tail sharks. I love those. It's a cool fish. And they get big too. They live a long time and they'll get big. Over here, like we got some a common pleco, some nice tinfoil barbs. Really cool fish as well. Get nice and big. Good for like monster tanks or ponds. And even got a little iridescent shark in here as well. Nice. Over here we got some more garamis. Like there's a couple different angels. This is a nice little angel right here. We got a lot of different patterns on them. Just a little simple little selection. I up here they got some dope saltwater fish like this dude right here. Look at this puffer. Like this make me want to set up a saltwater tank, and I'm going to do it. Just haven't had time to set it up. We got this dragon rash. Oh man, look at him. He is dope. That's a dope fish. We got some cardinals in here, a couple triggers. That's a nice looking trigger right there. A little clown. Look like they're kind of scared of the camera though. Just some nice salt water for all the people that love salt. Another tank of some damsels, look like some cardinals, some clowns. It's a nice staple fish for saltwater. Some more damsels here. These guys are nice. I like that little yellow on them. Looking good. Oh, look at this panther grouper right here. He is beautiful. Jesus. It's a beautiful fish. And he got a maroon clown as well. I believe that's a, no, it's a tomato clown. They want $45 for this panther grouper. I want to go set up a salt tank just so I can have one of those. Oh, man. Cool. Here, we got some fox face rabbits. I like those a lot. Stripe maroon clown, or no, that's an angel fish. I'm sorry, and this is a maroon clown. That's a bicolor angel fish, beautiful. And then over here, we got a can't go wrong a Niger trigger. They things get big, mean, and nasty, and their teeth are like human teeth. <laughs> They'll bite a chunk out of you for real, for real. But yeah, if you guys local to the area, um, come check out Teskies. 
um, in Moline, Illinois. They've been doing it for a very long time. They have a really cool little store, nice selection. They even sell birds, reptiles, um, animals, dogs, everything. They even have a lot of the hardscape stuff with you guys, hard goods that you might need for your aquariums. Um, pretty cool store. They always let me come in here and show love and support me, so I got to support them as well. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Uh, turn the notifications so you can be notified when I drop more videos. I'm out of here.